And for those of you who want to say, oh, Jackie said she wants wieners. Oi, stop it. It's not funny, okay? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> hey, Greens, and welcome to another episode of Mini Brands is a Sucker for Punishment. For those of you who don't know, Mini Brands is a series of miniature toys of known brands such as Kraft Dinner or even toys like Crayola. Their miniatures are absolutely adorable, but as usual, my biggest complaint has always been that they are not to scale with the type of toy photography that I really enjoy making. But alas, that is not why they are suckers for punishment. But Jackie, why so? I'm glad you asked. In previous videos, I've been very curious why these PR packages that Mini Brands sends me have so many more amazing rare toys and I did a little bit of a calculation versus the ones that I bought in store and the ones I was sent and I received way more rares in the packages that they send me so could they be tricking us So our goal today is to see whether or not we are getting more rares or less so than the other time or the same than when I bought it myself. I'm watching you, Mini Brands. So here we are again with more PR packages from Mini Brands to see how many actual rares we're going to get. And this is Mini Brands Series 2, Wave 2. What's in it? I don't know, but it's for us to find out together. Can you honestly say in your life that you've taken down a demon lord? Well, have no fear because it's time to raid. At least we'll get that part of your life sorted out. I should probably put this away. You sound nothing. Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. For those of you who don't know Raid, this dark fantasy RPG is sure to have you hooks with millions of champion combinations. PvP arena matches, dungeon runs, epic boss battles. You can build your team, develop your champions, and raid your way through. So check the links down below to download Raid yourself, whether it be on PC or your phone. There's also conveniently a QR code that you can use. Some of the many things I absolutely adore about Raid is the ability to summon champions at the tavern. It's a a really fun way to find out which ones you're going to get and even make some combinations. And of course, auto battle mode because sometimes you just want to watch the gameplay and you're just too tired to think about it. So the strategies are just on. I mean, their champions are so cool. Look at Salty Crafter next to Saito from the Undead Hordes faction. And she's trying to be like him. Look at that sword. Salty just put that away. And so what's going on new with Raid? They just hit their second year anniversary. And they've been having loads of anniversary events and tournaments. So make sure that you join quickly so that you can get your free rewards. And their schedule is pretty jam-packed with events until mid-April. So get on over there. That way you can participate in some really cool events and tournaments with anniversary sized prizes to win. You can also try out on your first clan versus clan tournament and they also just released their first ever Shadowkin faction. They really have some amazing looking champions there. And that is not all. Later this month they're going to have an update on Doom Tower with two new tough bosses. Raid is already a really huge and popular game and their anniversary events make it even more engaging and so many more prizes to be won. So what are you waiting for? Here's the QR code or check the link in description box below and you'll get a free epic champion Jotun who is just perfect for the Doom Tower. 100k silver, 50 gems, and 3 ancient shards. That way you can summon epic champions right away. All this treasure will be waiting for you right over here for the next 30 days only. Thank you Raid for sponsoring today's video. And by the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. I have many weird things on this channel. I love to explore with you. I got all notifications while you're there. You know what this is for. Don't pretend. And if you're curious about the previous Mini Brands video, I will link them down below as you can also see some of the thumbnails on the screen. I'm particularly excited because I think in the Series 2, we had so many Crayola products and itty bitty Crayola is really cute. Even though Crayola and I have a... What am I supposed to say? Beef together. In the trash! 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 All right, without further delay, let's see what's inside and... Ooh, very nice package. Oh, <coughs> what's that smell? That does not smell good at all. What is that? Is it this? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> That's gross. Give me a second. All right, so I left the room, came back in to get rehydrated, and it still smells like absolute poo. If I can describe this, hang on. It would basically be like burnt plastic. It is so gross. I am very nauseous right now, but the show must go on. All right, first things for, oh, what's this? What is, 
What? What? <laughs> What is this? What is all this magnet? What? Okay, I don't get it, but I guess we'll find out later. I'm not quite sure why we have this magnet strip. It's pretty heavy, so I guess we'll find out later together. And if we don't, I don't know. By the way, just to be clear, this is not sponsored, not affiliated by mini brands. Let's just move this over here. I just like receiving them and they like sending them, so heck, why not? Let, huh. Let's see what what is the note saying so according to this note they snuck in the tape Magnetic tape so that we could just stick it whatever we want. So if we want to make them fridge magnets or whatever, okay, cool You know what time it is Ah yes time to open them. I am proud of myself that I actually caught it I'm actually pretty disappointed that the package didn't give us a preview of what we're gonna get But I guess that's what the inside is for All right, so let's go ahead and start by opening what is our first mini brand series two. What's that? What, what the, what is this? I'm not sure. So we have some kind of scanner, I guess. I don't know, not starting strong. Ooh, ketchup, my favorite condiment. So previously I already did get some ketchup. The label is not quite aligned, but that's okay. Still cute. And oh, there's our list, but what do we get here? Baby Bell. I don't know if that's what they're called. Baba Bell, ba Baby Bell, Baba Bell, ba 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 <laughs> It's a kind of soft type cheese. It's round and it's, it's not like mozzarella. It's not like Swiss, it's its own taste. So that's the next thing we get. I realized that there's no labels. Usually mini brands actually shows labels with like calorie count, nutritional information and all that stuff. But so far we haven't seen any. And what the heck is this? We're gonna look at the list in not too long. Let's just continue opening. What do we get? Kool-Aid! Yes, this is the first time. Oh my God. Yeah. I actually haven't had Kool-Aid since I was like 12 years old, I think. It was just way too sugary, but I still love the box. There's a little bit of a tear over here and obviously the box is going to be empty. They just have these fillers and let's see. We do get the nutritional information and the ingredients and all that stuff. Yes, this is the kind of quality I'm expecting from mini brands, the details. That's where it comes in. Just not, not that one there. And in our fifth one, what's this? Ooh, honey bunches of oats. You can never go wrong with cereal. Cereal boxes basically doesn't matter the size because you can make it work in whatever diorama you use. I feel like today's episode is going to be mostly, what's this? What's this? Bonus points if you know where it's from. What's this? What's this? And in the back of the cereal, we still have a little game side. We have the nutritional information and so on. I love this. All right, let's take a look and find out what the heck that blue thing is. What? Oh, oh, okay. So basically the items we're going to be looking for are the golden labels here and some more golden labels. Glow in the dark, we can have the almond milk or honeycomb. I did get quite a few almond milks and none of them were glow in the dark. We have the metallic version, ooh, of Kool-Aid and these products over here. Ooh, the laughing cow. And then all of these other items are basically common. Oh, mac and cheese with the unicorn. The unicorn mac and cheese, I would like that. I'm, I'm surprised it's not a metallic version. And of course we get more of these things over here. Now the question is, what is the blue thing? Oh my God, we can get marshmallows, mustard and things. Where is that blue thing? Oh, there it is. So it's just the blue thing. Okay, yes, it is a scanner. <gasps> No, we get a card reader. Oh, I really want that. I really want a card reader. That's cute. Okay, okay. If there's a card reader, I'm happy. All right, come on, card reader. Oh no, what is that? Is that a shopping cart? That's a shelf. I will not be putting it together for obvious reasons because I've put so many of them together. But if you're curious what it looks like, here it is on the screen. I'm not gonna be putting the shelf, nor the shopping cart, nor the basket. Again, here they all are on the screen. We are not doing them. And is this a can of almonds? So we have blue almond, lightly salted. Well, if that's not insulting to me, it's absolutely is, 100%. <laughs> We need not lightly salted. We need moderately, extremely salty. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, here's our little container with low so 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 salty. Saltium, I was gonna say sodium. I don't know what's going on in my brain today, but that's happening. <laughs> 
Oh, that is cute. I really like the label. Next. Oh, <gasps> marshmallow. Mini marshmallows. And the bag. You hear that? And it's super soft, super squishy. And I can tell you right away, it's a piece of foam on the inside. They didn't cut it. It's just a regular piece of foam, but it is adorable. And now, <gasps> her dirks, her dirks, wieners, wiener dirks. That is cute. We have the Oscar Mayer wiener hot dogs. What does it say? This is really tiny. No nitrates, no preservatives, and no fillings. Very nice. Before you judge me, here's what it is. See? It's not blurry, it's just tiny. Can you see it? Before you judge me, do it. <laughs> and I love this packaging. It really does look like sausages. And in the back, we have the nutritional information. Probably one of my favorites. It's the one I didn't know I needed, but I need. And for those of you who want to say, <laughs> Jackie said she wants wieners. Oi, stop it. It's not funny, okay? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Next one. Oh, is that pink lemonade? Okay, so we do have pink lemonade. And in the last video, I asked you, what's the difference between lemonade and pink lemonade? And some of you said it had a kind of berry flavor to it. So I guess I'm gonna have to try pink lemonade to, to know myself. Again, cute little details in the back with the nutritional information and recipes. This is root beer concentrate. That's a thing? Does it actually taste fizzy or does it taste like a flat root beer? I've never seen this before. Let me know in your country if you have soda powder. Is that a powder? No, that's a liquid. How do you make it fizzy? So this is a root beer soda liquid form. Let me know how that works. Oh, nope, we're not doing you. <laughs> Wrench. French dressing, Thousand Islands. I'm pretty sure I got quite a few of these last time. It doesn't stop the fact that they're absolutely super fun to look at. Spices, oregano, oh yeah. Oh no, thyme. Time and time again, I keep getting this one. But I'm Okay. Where's the fun stuff? Give me the fun stuff. Oh, french fries? Golden crispy crowns. So they're like mini hash browns. Look at that, that is adorable. Again, it is filled with foam. Has a nice sound. And again, with the details and all the information, I absolutely love these. And we have, is that rice? Oh no, cheddar. Sharp cheddar, interesting. One of the other things I found really interesting in American type cheese is that more often than not, when I pick up a pack, it says imitation cheese, but it's being sold as cheese. Why? Just, to, just get cheese. I don't know if this is actual cheese, but well, it's foam, but you know what I mean. I love the fact that they're adding more of these little baggies as opposed to boxes because those baggies are just adorable. Keep saying cute and adorable, but it is what it is. And this is, oh, pure vanilla extract. We have non-GMO Madagascar vanilla bean. Very nice. And how to use it? This is interesting. Does this actually come in a box? Or is there supposed to be a bottle on the inside in the box? I'm not sure. More french fries. This time we get a golden crinkle cut because the first one we got were like little patties of potatoes. Which one do you like of both of them? I feel like it depends on my mood. If I really want to dunk it in ketchup, I like the crinkle ones. If I want a really hard crisp, I would go with the crispy crowns. Oh, there's crispy in the word. Hence why I like them. And now we have regular lemonade. So now we have both sets. And as you can see, it says no artificial sweeteners or flavors. So then I'm curious, how is it a powder? But it's nothing artificial. My brain hurts. <laughs> And what? Oh, bacon! Yes! The last time we opened this, we also got bacon. And listen to that sound. Let's hope it's the same. It's like a ridged type sound. Look at that. We can make an American breakfast with sausages and bacon. Dance! <laughs> And we better be getting something rare. At this point, we've almost done half. Well, we're at the halfway-ish point because we have nine. And this is our fifth one, I think. Is it? Oh no, we get another scanner. Really wish they had put like some kind of red line in there or some kind of sticker. Otherwise, it's a really plain mold. And cheese. A little pack of feta cheese. I love feta cheese. Is this just cow or, or goat? I'm guessing just cow. Yes. Just cow. And nutritional info. I really wish these were similar to the Shopkins Real Littles. In a previous video, I unboxed Shopkins Real Littles, and not only were they real brands, like in miniature form, but on the inside, you can actually open it up and get a second figurine. So it was kind of the miniature that kept on giving. Whereas here, nay, you may not open it. 
Oh, that, that was uncalled for. <laughs> Is this another cereal? Red beans and rice. I've never tried this before, but red beans and rice are always delicious. And this has got to be serious. This, this is the same one. Honey bunches of oast honey roasted. Is that the same one? Here's the other one. Oh no, okay. So it's the same brand, but they're absolutely different flavors. We have frosted and honey roasted. And in the back, we have a set of two completely different games. Next is, oh no, another one. I don't want to see you again. Don't, I just, I don't want doubles. Okay, I almost had a double with the cereal, with the french fries, but now we get an actual double with the Babby Bell. Baby, 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 bell. So far, everything's been pretty underwhelming, so... Mac and cheese, if it's not the unicorn one, I swear, by all the salt in me, I will cry. love mac and cheese so it's not like I'm upset oh this is a torn piece over here I'm not upset about the mac and cheese I'm just not happy that it wasn't the unicorn version that's all I'm not mad I'm just sad <laughs> oh no we are not putting you together let's pull this apart put it aside chili flakes I love my food so spicy that I need to both be doing and also tearing if I'm not tearing and sniffling while I'm eating I'm not happy I love it when food hurts me <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Let me know if you're like that too. Oh, this one's already open. Okay, more feta. Is mini brands punishing me? Are they doing this to me on purpose? I need the gold editions. I would like the rare ones, please. Don't make me look like a liar. And now it's, what is you? What is you? <gasps> cheese slices. Lerdemer cheese. I never heard of this brand before, but that is absolutely adorable. Do we have the option of getting eggs? Because if we have cheese and sausages and bacon, and if there was a carton of eggs, I feel like this would be a very much so North American breakfast. In Egyptian type of breakfast, we have falafels. Yes, for breakfast. And we also have something called ful, which is a crushed type bean. Well, we crush it and it has like this lemon cumin and very delicious and we also have some cold cuts called basterma so let me know what kind of breakfast foods you have where you're from and if you're from north america what is your favorite breakfast item we have three more to go and i'm starting to get really nervous on not getting any of the rares or the special edition ones please let's pray to the mini brands gods Dear mini brand gods, please provide me with rares, golds, and metallics, but also stop giving me doubles. Now that that's out of the way, <laughs> come on. Ooh, Cool Whip. I much prefer the Cool Whip straight from the, you know, the, the, the. I don't know why. There's something more satisfying about getting it straight from the actual tube than getting it from a container. But I guess this has its advantages other than not, you know, having the <laughs> satisfaction here. Ah, uh, now uh, we get another scanner, but this time it's yellow. No, I want a card reader, please. They look so cute. Put it over there with my other two because I need three. And here is, oh, kitchen base unsalted chicken stock. Blech. Where's the salt? In all seriousness, I love chicken stock, but I like making it myself. So straight with the chicken bones and, my, and, and boiling the poop out of it. What am I even saying? Well, not the poop, but the, the crap batter. They're boiling it. Just boiling it a lot is what I'm trying to say. This is actually really cute. And it says it has a homemade taste. Interesting. And the packaging is really lovely. I don't think I've seen this before. I really think McCormick is more of a USA brand. I'm pretty sure I've seen a couple of them here in Quebec, but not as much as all... Okay. <laughs> you, you just wanted to hang out? Is Okay, all right. But I really think the McCormick brand is it's much bigger in the US than it is here in Canada. Come on, rare. Are you kidding me? Again, this has got to be the, the one that repeats the most other than the scanner. Come on. I don't want a thousand of you. Go away. Bye-bye. <gasps> we get a honeycomb! Hang on, calm down, calm, calm down, I said! The reason I'm excited for honeycomb is because it could be a glow-in-the-dark. 
Hang on, like this one. So we're gonna put this aside and test it at the end of this video to see whether or not it is in fact glow in the dark because I don't wanna close all the lights twice. So we're just gonna try it at the end. Okay, we're gonna put it aside and we're gonna try this. Question is, how many times can I throw and catch it without looking at it? Okay, you ready? Oh, ah! This many times. <laughs> Come on, don't disappoint me, we made a prayer. Oh no, okay, I, I, what is that? Is that a shelf? I think it is, yes it is. It would be kind of cool to get the actual register, but no, we have not seen this yet. So we're gonna just pull you away. Actually, I think we may have gotten it. I think this might be this. Let me put it together. Eventually. And er, me, good. Is it absolutely adorable or what? I, I, I think I'm in love. I don't even know how I passed it. It's probably just my skeptical brain, but just look at it. It is so cute. Again, make no mistake, the other side is not fully covered, which makes sense because when you're working at a cash, you do have space. Put your trash bin to put all the other stuff. I used to be a cashier. And the stickers work just perfectly fine. However, when I say that mini brands is items don't interact well with each other. Here's um, here's the scanner and what it looks like. Yeah, nope, way too big. I don't know why I didn't think of that. They could have made it at least to scale with their other products. But hey, okay, maybe it's just the scanner. What about if we want feta cheese? It looks like we bought it straight from Costco X Plus XL. Costco XL version. Gigantic <laughs> feta cheese. <laughs> That's that's my issue with um, mini brands is that their items don't work well together, which is a huge pity All right moving on. Let's check what we get in the remainder of the box before we got sidetracked Ooh, not ew more shop check. Oh, what is that? Is that a cream? What are you? Are you food? Organic chunky garlic. Interesting. I always find garlic in some kind of other format than real garlic. It has this weird aftertaste, but it could just be me. But I do like this container thing. Look at that squeezy bottle. I quite like it. I feel like Series 2 Wave 2 has less known brands to me at least. And the cinnamon. cinnamon. I love cinnamon because it's fun to say. Cinnamon. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Cinnamon. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> it's just fun to say. It's like banana. If you want banana to never end, it really will never end. Banana. Na, 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 na. 20 minutes later. Na, 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 na. It could just go on and on and on. Oh, come on. Come on. No. What did I say at the beginning? Time and time again, I keep getting this one. Bottom. Okay. Yeah, I stick to my pun this time. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Oh no, Grains! This is our last one before we even check if the other one is actually a glow-in-the-dark. I'm gonna be really upset if we don't get anything else, but then again, that means it debunks my own theory unless they did it on purpose and like, let's check the codes and make sure it's not the right one. Because in case you didn't know, some mystery boxes and mystery bags actually have different codes that let you know what's on the inside of each one. There's whole forums and groups of people that find these codes and let everyone know. So I haven't checked if that's the case with Mini Brand, but Let's open this last one as sensually as possible. Cue romantic music. Okay, shopping cart, we can tell by the legs we've had that. Anyways, we've got them all, so let's just keep going, come on. No, what are you, Raisin Bran? Okay, so here we have Raisin Bran cereal. I don't think there's anything special about this one. No, but I still love the details and the box itself. I feel like they may have cheaped out on this edition because it is mostly just boxes and bags as opposed to actual products that look like the item, like this one. This one's pretty cool. Come on. Oh no, is that a Lunchables? We've gotten Lunchables before if that's the case. Oh, we didn't get that one. That's new. That's cute. They're obviously very unhealthy for you, but these are still adorable. And let's not forget the fact that yes, 100% I was jealous of the kids who had Lunchables at school. 100% facts. Doesn't stop the fact that that happened. And this one is Turkey and American Cracker Stackers. I know that this is very popular in Canada and in the US. Let me know if it is popular where you're from. 
I'm very curious. Or is that just a North American thing? It's like a snack pack. Although I have seen kids with only this as their lunch. Oh my god, we only have two to open in here. Come on, come on. No! Cream of tartar. Yeah, because when I'm unboxing, I definitely want cream of tartar. 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 Cream of tartar. I don't want cream of tartar. Okay, I want ketchup. I want mustard. I want mac and cheese. I want fruit roll-ups. These things. I don't want cream of tatar. No, no. But it's not a double though, so I'm not gonna complain that much. I did complain, but not that much. But let's just let's just pretend I didn't complain. <laughs> oh no. Last one before we check if the other one is actually glow in the dark. And no! Oh! I'm still upset that we didn't get a cool one, but we get craft singles. I love American cheese. These fake cheese, especially on burgers. And we do have these ones here. It's 16 slices. I'm guessing this is the thick version. I only ever have this maybe once a year, but it's still pretty good on burgers. And as we can see, it is plastic and very smushy. And it's also yellowish orange. And the details are over here. And there's a cute little QR code. That's adorable. I am mad, but still, this is the first one. And I'm, I kind of like it, but I'm still pretty mad. Let's see if it's glow in the dark. All right, so here we are. And the exposure is set to high. Once we turn the light off, let's see what happens. And the answer is an absolute no. <laughs> can't see anything. Oh my god. We got nothing. Which goes to show that if you're looking for something a little more rare, good luck to you. <laughs> This is as bad as the one I got for myself. Actually, even worse. And so here is everything that we got in the Mini Brands Wave 2 Series 2. I have to say, I'm not a fan of it. I find that most of the products in there are just mm, adult-like, if that makes sense. I really want the, the idea of nostalgia and childhood. So things like fruit roll-ups and ketchup and mustard and tomato soup, more different types of Lunchables, that would have been great. But instead, we're getting adult-type things like thyme and oregano and garlic paste. I like them, but I'm not impressed with this actual series. That's my opinion. And again, the fact that these items are not to scale with each other is also kind of a disappointment. I mean, look at the cereal size versus the Lunchables. I don't know. I just feel like they definitely could improve. Not to mention the toy version was probably my favorite. If you're interested by that video, I'll link it down below. If you want to watch more mini brands, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a video of me reviewing craft hacks, make sure you check over here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.